Welcome to chapter two. I wanted to just go real quick through the PowerPoint for this lesson. In chapter one, we learned how to take a transaction and decide whether or not it increases or decreases one side of the accounting equation. So in chapter two, we're going to use a new tool to help us figure that out and it's called a T account. And so if you look at the next slide, analyzing the accounting equation. We know that that accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And if you draw a little T underneath it, we have a left side and a right side. Assets always fall on the left side, liabilities and owner's equity always fall on the right side. And so as we are analyzing transactions in this chapter, we're basically going to be doing the same thing, but analyzing do they fall on the left side or do they fall on the right side? and then do they increase or decrease? And so a uh, record summarizing all the information affecting a single item in the accounting equation is an account, and an accounting device that we're gonna use is a T account. A couple of new terms for you here too are debit and credit. These are very, very important terms that we will use every day throughout every transaction that we analyze. Debit simply means left, and credit simply means right. That's all they mean. They don't mean increase or decrease. They don't mean anything about an account balance going up or going down. It simply means left and right. So when we look at our T account and we put that T account underneath our assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, our accounting equation, you can see that the left side of that T account is a debit side or left side and the right side is the credit side. And that's gonna be important as we start analyzing transactions. So an asset is on the left side of the accounting equation and assets always increase on the left because they're on the left side of the accounting equation, which means that assets always increase with a debit. Liabilities and owner's capital fall on the right side of the accounting equation, which is credit. And so that means that liabilities and owner's capital will always increase with a credit on the right side and decrease with a debit on the left side. The normal balance side of an account is where it increases. So debits are on the left. Debits are going to be the normal balance side of assets. So the left side of the T account is the normal balance side for assets because they fall on the left of the accounting equation. Liabilities and owner's equity will fall in the credit side because they fall on the right side of the accounting equation and right means credit. And so they will always have a normal balance of a credit. One thing I wanna point out as you look at this slide, which just explains what I just talked about. When we say falls on the left or the right, we use the equal sign in between assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity as that divider for our T. So when we say left and right, we're meaning left and right of the equal sign. So assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So any asset, normal balance as a debit, goes up with the debit, down with the credit. Any liability has a normal balance of a credit because it's on the right side of the equal sign. So they go up with the credit and down with the debit owner's capital account is the same, goes up with a credit and down with a debit. 